Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'd like to discuss about podcast processing. I've laid down a quick recording here which I'll be using for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll play down now so you can hear what we have. I've bypassed all other effects I have except a volume uh, which is a game plugin because I like to record very quiet. I've actually bypassed that as well so we can hear how quiet I recorded before adding this 10 dB with a game plugin. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments. So if you listen to that, you'll see how quiet it is. Once I finish recording, I normally then throw in this game plugin to bring the level up instead of actually recording it hot because you might uh, get a distorted sound if you try to record hot. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments. So having added this to bring the level up to a certain uh, degree, next thing is look for sort of noise reduction plugin of sorts. On this video, I'm using the Waves X Noise. A lot of people also use the RX uh, 7 or 8 from Isotope, but that one is a bit pricey, so we're going for this one, which is a bit more affordable. How you use this is you basically play your sound, hit the LEM button, and while you are playing, the plugin will learn the noise profile and then adjust the EQs to taste. And you can also play with the threshold here, having uh, added that for you. Let's do that quickly. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments. But Basically, the white line there is the noise profile. It's always uh, recommended for plugin like this to basically select a place where you have the noise more but uh, it's okay if you do it on your main uh, actual source because you've got a button here which says difference that will not play you what has been removed and you can adjust the taste we will do that now quickly So what I've basically done now is push down the threshold a bit, uh, minus 10, I lowered it further so it doesn't get too much into the main source. I'll switch this back to the audio now so we can hear the real audio. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you obviously try and fit it alongside other instruments. But for podcast vocals, because it's a dialogue, you basically need to if you listen, when I had that on and off, it sort of helped clean out the background noise to some degrees. Next thing I go for is uh, a compressor. But I always like to use this one because it's got a gate. So I basically push down this uh, gate slider. What that does is when you are not speaking, it closes the sound so there is no background sound coming through. Anywhere around 20, minus 29, minus 30 is fine. Then you just push this slider to get compression of 5 to 6 dB. I'll try that now until we find where I'm getting about 5 to 6 dB of gain reduction on compression. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments. But for podcast vocals, because it's a dialogue. Yeah, somewhere around here is what I need. Bearing in mind, when I was doing this, the volume was actually getting a bit louder. That's fine, but if you want to retain a certain level, you just need to push this gain slider down to taste. But because we still got a headroom, I don't mind to leave it there. So the next one, which is actually the most important thing, is this EQ. Because it's the EQ that will actually change the sound more than these other ones. So what I've done to this EQ is I've used a high pass to roll off the low end at 90 Hz. And now around 150 hertz, I've added 4 dB because when you are talking to someone, it needs to sound more intimate. So that 150 hertz to 120 is that chesty voice. So I've pushed it up. And here between 350 to 500 is always where the room noise, the muddy sound is. I've lowered it by 6 dB. I'll push that up afterwards so you can hear what we took out. Then I've added air to the top. I boosted 4 dB at uh, 5 kilohertz but now if you look i've used a gentle roll off on the top with 18 db octave 
because on the lower bottom we use 48 db which is a bit more sharp or should i say steep then rolling this top off because i'm using a condenser mic they tend to pick up sibilant too much so rolling that off helps to clean up the high end a bit more so it sounds more cleaner if you are using a dynamic mic you can just stay away from doing this one because the top end is not as bright as condensers so if you notice how it's open on the top but when i hit this engaged you know it sort of pushes the top end down so that's all we've done to the eq i'll play you it then i'll bypass it and i'll show you what each of these did when you are EQing a vocal for songs you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments but for podcast vocals because it's a dialogue you basically need to as you can hear there is already sounding uh like what you hear on a podcast now I'll push this up so you can hear what when you are EQing a vocal for songs you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments you can hear that that's your typical room noise so that's why we took it out so that you don't hear the room noise there this one also is uh the chesty voice area i'm gonna push it a bit more up so you can hear when you are eqing a vocal for songs you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments but for podcast vocal so that's more of your chest voice area but you don't need to push it too hard 4 or 5 db depending or sometimes even 3 db is fine but i've had it 4 db on this occasion and here is the air which sort of opens the voice to sound more pristine i'll remove that and i'll add it back on when you are eqing a vocal for songs you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments but for podcast vocals because it's a dialogue you basically need to treat it differently to have it sound more intimate because when you are talking to someone you so as you can hear there that's what sort of gave the voice the intelligibility if that uh, makes sense having done this which is the main thing actually this eq i think is what changes the sound uh drastically compared to the other ones we've been adding now another thing i like to throw on is LA2A sort of compressor. This one is from UAD, but you can use the emulation inside Logic. Just that this one sounds a bit more cleaner. So I add this just to get about 2 dB compression. Because the main thing I need is just the sound of it, not actually the compression. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other. So it's just a two button. If you push this till you get in peak reduction. So I've pushed that till I get about 2 dB at the loudest part. Then I adjusted the gain to taste. That's all. Then the next, which is the last one, is a deesa. Like I said, when I push that top end off, because it's a condenser mic that I'm using, they tend to sound a bit uh, sibilant on the top end, which is why I selected 4800 Hz. Push this till I get about a couple of dB of reduction. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments. But So if you notice all the areas that are sounding sh is pushing them down, that's all this does. Now out of all this, you will see that the main thing that actually changed the sound is this EQ, which is why copying this EQ settings, or at least uh, all of these settings, if you can uh, get them, you can even replay the video. That will be of help. I will remove the EQ only from this and you'll see how the sound will still change completely. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments. But for podcast vocals, because it's a dialogue, you basically need to treat it differently to so as you can see there, the EQ is actually the most important uh, thing here. Apart from that, the rest is just now complementing the voice to sound clean. If you then need to deliver something that's a bit loud, you can just go ahead and add another plugin here just to bring up the level, which I've added 6 dB here. You might not need that, but it's just to raise the level up so it doesn't clip. When you are EQing a vocal for songs, you're obviously trying to fit it alongside other instruments but for podcast vocals so that one is just a limiter for uh volume and also to prevent the audio from clipping so that's all for this video i hope you learned something please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more contents thanks for watching
Bye now. Zenith.